VHS sing out, please remain standing while we hear the uh, Pledge of Allegiance done by Jimmy Fires and Robert Cahill. And then please remain standing for the national anthem sung by the AHS Rhythmics. I pledge allegiance.
Craig and Heath King will now come up to present the class gift. When choosing our class gift, we wanted to make sure we could provide a service to the future students of AHS. We wanted our gift to be used by the various clubs and groups in AHS. For these reasons, the class of 2016 is donating a TV display monitor to AHS to be hung in the lobby to display messages to the student body. With the oh. With this technology, we hope the clubs of AHS will display information for any upcoming events they hope to advertise. In addition to this gift, the class of 2016 will also be donating $2,016 to the Lungstrong Foundation. <laughs> the class of 2016 hopes that AHS appreciates and uses these gifts to the full potential. Katie Vesley will now present the dedication. If you've ever looked for assistance or even just a smile, Carol Bartlett is there to help. As a curriculum secretary at Amesbury High School, she consistently goes above and beyond her job requirements. Ms. Bartlett can always be counted on to help out at the rallies, judge various contests and chaperone dances, taking photos as she go. When, uh, she was rightfully a recipient of the Effie Hall of Honor Award in 2015 for her contributions to the Amesbury Public High School system. She can often be found in the school at eight o'clock at night even, decorating the central office. When she isn't at AHS, she works with students at the elementary and middle schools, sharing stories and posing for art projects. It would be an understatement to say that Carol Bartlett is an integral part of the Amesbury community, and the class of 2016 is proud to dedicate the yearbook to her, which she now come up to accept her yearbook. Kyle Patterson, Carter Snay, Cole Lay, Cooper Wigglesworth, and Riley O'Connor will now perform Rock Bottom. Testing, testing, testing. All right, we're good. Testing, testing. Testing, 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 yes. testing. Get ready to get hype, AHS. Let them know, let them know. Ladies and gentlemen, we are a cruel summer, and this is rock bottom.
my favorite rock and roll. Oh, now I'm running away. I made it, babe. Think all your lover would say. Think in a properly way. It's a girl I won't say. Till it finds me One day My mind starts to derange Distortion to rage As I loses its range As everyone's perspective begins to change Oh, I'm the same Just something to blame Another thing wrong with the game Watch me as I descend Into shame Into Got no more, you're lying dead on the floor. The wounds in your back are still sore. And everyone that watched you watched on in awe. But now you see there's nothing but poor. Another lost soul never accomplished a goal. Or made a lie out of their lives. See, they're the ones who pulled out, didn't I hive? Like that. Oh, everything is gone in front of your eyes. Yeah. Your hands have lost their grip on their prize. And you've got no more tries. Cause you lost them through lies. I'll be lucky this time. And hopefully it'll make you seem more wise or otherwise. Or lead you to your own demise. Cause it's the end of something I did not want to end. Forgiving our hard times to come I'm in something that was not meant to be is done I, I guess, guess this is the start of what was Thank you, thank you Thank you guys. Um, I'd like to introduce Antonio Gonzalez to perform We Are Young. on. All right. That's my song, guys. Second I, I need to get my story straight. My friends are in the bathroom, getting higher than the Empire State. The lover, she's waiting for me, just across the bar. My sister's been taken by some sunglasses, asking about a straw, and I know I gave it to you months ago. I know you're trying to forget. It's really drinks and subtle things, rolls oh, my apologies. I'm trying hard to take it back So it finds my bar closes You feel 
life falling down I'll carry you home tonight Set the world on fire We can burn brighter The sun holding the sun Tonight We are young So let's set the world on fire We can burn brighter Than the sun I, I just thought maybe we could find a way to fall apart. Now my friends are back, so let's raise a toast. Cause I found someone to carry me home tonight. We are young, so let's set the world on fire. We can burn brighter. is on my side and no reason to run the angels never rise but I can hear the choir so someone come and carry me home tonight we are young so let's set the world on fire we can burn brighter than the sun, or oh, than the sun. So if I time the bar closes, you feel like falling down. I'll carry you home tonight. The yearbook had many people they wished to appreciate. In the interest of time, we will be calling them to the stage in groups of three. Please hold your applause. Our experience in, the, in high school would never be as rewarding if it were not for our advisors, Ms. Regis and Mr. Thibodeau. Whether it was staying late for caller day meetings or help to plan our perfect prom, our advisors have proven their dedication to the class of 2016 time and time again. It is difficult to imagine our high school experience without Mr. Bastine. Through his dedication to various fundraisers and skillful teaching of life lessons in his English classes, he has closely helped every member of the senior class. Just like Atticus Finch, Mr. Bastine maintains his strong moral code and inspires those around him. Will the class advisors and Mr. Bastine please come to the stage? We will now have more appreciations. The class of 2016 is extremely grateful for the guidance department and its constant support. 
Mr. Dodier, Mrs. Exner, Mrs. Foley, Ms. Dobbs, and Mrs. Sowerman are always available to students and consistently strive to steer them in the right direction. We are looking forward to the futures they have built, helped for us. The secretaries at AHS are essential to the functionality of AHS. Mrs. Lavinson, Mrs. Nato, Mrs. Morrill, Mrs. Weil, and Mrs. Fusco have worked extremely hard to make sure all daily functions run smoothly for the class of 2016. We would like to thank them for their willingness to go above and beyond the call of duty. Amesbury High School would not be the same without our dedicated administrators, Mr. Guerin, Mrs. McAndrews, and Mr. Hammond. Their guidance has helped us to navigate through high school successfully. <laughs> we are very grateful for all the work they have done for the class of 2016. Would guidance the secretaries and the administration please come forward to <laughs> receive their yearbook? Class of 2016 would like to thank Ms. Meyer, Mr. Fijalkowski, and Mrs. Barcabbage for their devotion to keeping the arts alive at Amesbury High School. Through the numerous activities and classes that they advise, they inspire students to help express themselves through art and music. Amesbury High School simply would not run properly without the maintenance skills of Mike McCann and Jeremy Foucher. They're the first ones here in the morning and the last to leave, and they keep the school campus looking great. The class of 2016 thanks them for all of their efforts. The class of 2016 would like to extend its, serious, its sincerest gratitude to Barbara Leary for her incredible investment in her students. As yearbook advisor, Leary has worked extraordinarily hard to help the yearbook staff create this book. Her drive and willingness to help and, and challenge makes her an admirable role model for the entire senior class. Will Ms. Meyer, Mr. Fidge, Ms. Barkevich, Mike McCann, Jeremy Foucher, and Leary come and get their yearbooks. We will now have retirements. We have seven members of the AHS community retiring this year with a total of 200 years service to education. In the interest of time, we would like to read paragraphs on each of these people, except Mr. Hammond, and then call them all to the stage. Please hold your applause. <laughs> Anne Maria Hola received her education at Framingham State College, Fitchburg State College, and Antoic State Co College. She taught at Nashua High School and Algonquin High School before starting at Amesbury High School in 2002 as a history teacher. Mrs. Ahola was also given the Drama Club Advisor from 2003 to 2006 and also advised the classes of 2007 and 2014. In retirement, Mrs. Ahola hopes to be able to complete the renovation of her country house, travel, take up painting, and get more into gardening. As a final message to the students and staff, she would like everyone to remember, open yourself up to new things and never let anyone tell you that you can't do something. 
Anne Barcavage got her bachelor's degree in education from Salem State and her master's from Simmons College. Following college, she began her career as a librarian right here at Amesbury High School. She held this position from 1988 to 1989 before moving on to the other positions in the elementary and middle schools. She was the art teacher for all grades at Amesbury Middle School before becoming the art teacher here at AHS in 2011. After retiring, Ms. Barkevich hopes to visit her family more often and travel to Australia and New Zealand. She will also continue her job as the reference librarian at Northern Essex Community College and create more of her own artwork and photography. Mrs. Barkevich will miss how wonderful all the staff and students are and wants everyone to remember Emily Dickinson's words, dwell in possibility. Cheryl Bass graduated from the Amesbury High School as part of the class of 1973 and went on to study at Salem State where she earned her Bachelor of Arts degree. She taught French and Spanish at St. Mary's High School in Lawrence and Timberlane Regional High before becoming owner of Anastos Travel Service here in Amesbury. Mrs. Bass started full-time teaching at AHS in 2004. She has also been the advisor to the class of 2007 and the class of 2013 as well as the advisor of Interact for five years. In retirement, Mrs. Bass hopes to learn Italian, travel around a bit, and then get involved with the travel business again. She also aspires to run a 5K and hopes to be able to visit her children more often. She will miss her students the most. Her final message to the school is, your dream job doesn't exist. You must create it. Be the change, love the journey. You are capable of more than you know. Lori Pankos graduated from the State University of Oswego with a bachelor's in biology. She started at EHS as a full-time science teacher in 1988. Her favorite class to teach would be AP Biology. She has also held positions as a parent advisory council treasurer, an Amesbury youth music supporter, faculty advisory council member, a volunteer assistant music director for two, H two AHS musicals, and the advisor of the class of 1993. In retirement, she plans to do volunteer work, travel, and pursue her hobbies. She would like everyone to remember, the power to learn lies within each student. No one can teach someone who does not want to learn. Never stop learning, for learning is growth, and without growth, life becomes narrow and with less meaning. Cynthia Yetman attended Bridgewater State after graduating from Amesbury High School. After college, became technology teacher for kindergarten to eighth grade students before moving on to become a technology and director of technology education at Amesbury High School. While at AHS, Mrs. Yetman has taught computer science, programming, all the educational technology classes, and entrepreneurship A and B. She has also been the AV coordinator, the AV club advisor, and the class advisor to the classes 1994 and 2009 and 2015. Mrs. Yetman would like everyone to remember, take care of yourselves and each other. We look for our treasure all our lives. Treasure means different things to each of us. I found mine here, teaching at Amesbury High School for 35 years. Walter Brooks. Walter Brooks graduated from Newburyport High School with the class of 1967. Following high school, Walter went to Northern Essex Community College, where he earned his associate's degree as a member of the class of 1969. 18 years later, in 1987, Walter found himself at Amesbury High School. Although he attended our rival school, he quickly became an Amesbury Indian. As the multi-purpose facilities technician of the school, Walter was the overseer of all the background work that people don't usually notice. Without him, the school would not have operated in the same way and the work he put in has always been appreciated by the faculty and students alike. After leaving Amesbury High School, Walter will miss the students more than anything else. In his retirement, Walter plans on kicking back and taking things easy to just relax and enjoy the rest of his life. Walter would also like to impart one final piece of advice. Enjoy every day. Life goes by fast. We would now like to invite the retirees to come to stage. Chris Chaffee will now make a special presentation to Mr. Hammond. <clears throat> Excellent.
N. Roy Hammond graduated from Marblehead High School in Salem State with a major in AB Mathematics. He taught math at Ipswich, Triton, Arlington, and Timberlane before becoming assistant principal at Timberlane. He became dean of curriculum at Amesbury High School in September of 2001. Ten years later, in July of 2011, Mr. Hammond became the principal of Amesbury High School. In retirement, Mr. Hammond hopes to work on renovation projects around his home and spend more time at his lakeside cottage in Maine. I'd like to invite Justice Acevedo and Mr. Hammond onto stage for a special presentation. Mr. Hammond, you always seem to be wearing crazy ties. The class of 2014 gave you ties at their graduation, and our sewing class took the ties and started to create a quilt as a token of our appreciation for all you do. Mrs. Furlong finished creating the quilt, and we so appreciate her talent and guidance. Mr. Hammond, please receive your quilt. <laughs> Okay, while they're folding that up, very quickly, um, your theme for the yearbook, when I first saw it today on Top of the World, th thought of the, the lyrics, here I am at the top of the world, believe it or not, it's just me. So, moving on, since we're celebrating the yearbook, I also have a presentation from Jostens. Some of you may remember that the yearbook, Ames Free High School yearbook, had a, had a selection in the Jostens Look at Me book and putting out what the best schools are doing in yearbooks. This is from Jostens. The lookbook is a compilation of design, of design selected by a panel of judges of submissions from over 20,000 yearbooks nationally. It's very rare that a book from the North Shore or even high school is included in the lookbook. The powwow was selected for its creative senior section. Congratulations to the incredibly hardworking powwow staff under the direction of Leary. I'd like to ask Barb to come up. They have a plaque for her to be able to hang outside the, the pub publication room. Katie Sample will now sing Time of Our Lives.
it's hard to walk away from the best of days but if it has to end i'm glad you have been my friends in the time of our lives where the water meets the land there is shifting in the sand like the tide that ebbs and floods memories will come and go all of these years when we were here are ending but i'll always remember we have had the time of our lives now the page has turned the stories we will write we have had the time of our lives and i will not forget the faces left behind it's hard to walk away from the best of days but if it has to end i'm glad you have been my friends in the time of our lives we say goodbye we hold on tight to these memories that never die we say goodbye we hold on tight to these memories that never die we have had the time of our lives and i will not forget the faces left behind we have had the time of our lives and i will not forget the faces left behind it's hard to walk away from the best of days but if it has to end i'm glad you have been my friends in the time of our lives but if it has to end i'm glad you have been my friends in the time of our lives now that it's the end glad you have been my friends in the time of our lives. Rock of Grandy will now sing Time of My Life. Close as 
Jillian Richards will now dance to the cathedral.
Thibodeau will now come up and present the Spirit Award. The Amesbury High School Spirit Award has been established to recognize a senior who best exemplifies the qualities that we strive to instill in students at AAHS. It acknowledges a student who has demonstrated a sense of pride and has contributed to his or her community and school. This person is one who has led by example and has had a positive impact on the high school experience. Peers, teachers, and administrators respect this person and regard him or her as a role model for others. Additionally, the student has represented Amesbury with integrity, sportsmanship, and honor. This year's recipient is someone whose impact on our school culture is obvious. Even if you don't know him by name, chances are that if you've ever been to an Amesbury High School sporting event or pep rally, you've seen him there leading his class and his school with energy and enthusiasm. As a multi-sport captain and athlete, he can be seen encouraging his teammates, always trying to get them to come together and perform at their best. His kind and respectful manner, combined with his outgoing personality, have really caused him to emerge as a leader. In his time at AHS, he has managed to create our notorious student fan club section, and in doing so, has spread our culture of school spirit outside the walls of the high school. Voted most spirited by his classmates, he truly is the epitome of school spirit and pride. Ladies and gentlemen, please congratulate the winner of the 2016 Spirit Award, Mr. Riley O'Connor. <laughs> I just wanted to say one thing. No one's ever too cool for school spirit. Thank you guys. We will now have readings from the yearbook starting with You Know You Went to AHS Win by Mae Cronin and Emily DeRocher. You know you went to AHS when? Everyone is on the first name basis with the janitors. People claim that there is a ghost outside Miss Furlong's room that taps mysteriously when you walk by. There are writing assignments in gym. The student section is more hype than the team playing. The math team is the best team in the school. <laughs> game day consists of carrying around gallons of water and screaming game day in the hallways. <laughs> Leary runs almost every organization. No one knows how to park. A tie for the boys soccer team is reason to celebrate. You know you went to AHS when? A block saves lives. Everyone claps when you walk out of the bathroom at lunch. Your coach calls you coach. You check the date on the milk before drinking it. Many of the classes you sign up for don't run. All the girls cut their hair off at the same time. Mr. Maniloff thinks you do physics at football games. A quarter of your class is in NHS. None of the lunch schedules make any sense. You're marked late if you come in 30 seconds after 8 o'clock. Instead of taking out the trash in the courtyard, another trash, can, another trash can is put out when the first one gets filled. Chris Belmonte and Mara Einstein are now going to read excerpts from our class will. Class Will. Jillian Fournier leaves her meme collection and all of her love to the drama club. Courtney Snay leaves Skylar Snay an empty house. Nick Fortuna leaves 42 Trap to Mr. Guerin because nobody likes it but him. <laughs> Morgan Harris leaves all her fun times at AHS and crazy amounts of homework to her brother Brady Harris. Josh and Spencer Movenzada leave the most improved and most outstanding awards for twins to come. 
Antonio Gonzalez leaves everyone the strength to pass child development. Alex Lamoth leaves fresh souls for all the teachers. Carter Snay leaves his work ethic as it was stolen from him freshman year. David Sullivan leaves all of his bad jokes to Doc Walsh because her jokes can only get better. <laughs> Damian Marston leaves his Jordans to Joel Hagen. Gabe Turbide leaves Ben Turbide their room to himself. Taylor Bolduck leaves her incredible sense of direction to Maddie Eaton. Lydia Gottwald leaves love and luck to Adia Clifford. Chris Belmondi leaves some of his lightsabers to the newspaper crew. <laughs> Victor Figueroa leaves warm clothing for the underclassmen and bands so that they don't freeze to death at the future Christmas parades. Gianni Ferraro leaves his humor and charisma to his cousin Veronica Ferraro. Grace Horgan leaves all the next year's soccer seniors to carry the equipment. Savannah LeBlanc leaves her uptown funky moves to Kayla Mullins and all the amazing memories she made to her brother, Ben LeBlanc. Sule Gilbo leaves Jake Russell all of the things, although he might take some with him. <laughs> Keith Merchant leaves all the speed workouts to Garrett Collins and all the A-push homework he didn't do to Jaleen Collins. Genevieve Deshaines leaves Jeffrey Deshaines. <laughs> All right, we are now going to uh, perform Show Me Where It Hurts uh, with Melissa Pratt and Katie Vesely. Her turn signal blinked to the east Towards the long wooden pier that hangs over the beach She took off her dress and she walked towards the sea And thought maybe it could sweep away me engine turned off with the keys as he ran towards her he fell to his knees he said what if I'd done wrong he said what did I forget she looked away and she wept he said why don't to show me where it hurts why don't you show me where it hurts he said why don't you show me where it hurts where it hurts the most she said it follows me wherever I I wake up each morning and the darkness unfolds Yeah, I just can't take it, everything's like a chore And I can't live like this anymore He said, why don't you show me where it hurts? Why don't you show me where it hurts? 
He said, why don't you show me where it hurts, where it hurts the most? I guess it'd be easier just to keep it all buried beneath. Why don't you show me where it hurts? Why don't you show me where it hurts? He said, why don't you show Eli Ratner will now perform Corner of the Sky, um, accompanied by Katie Vesley. Everything has its season, everything has its time. Show me a reason and I'll soon show you a rhyme. Cats fit on the windowsill, children fit in the snow. So why do I find I don't fit in anywhere I go? Rivers belong where they can ramble. Eagles belong where they can fly. I've got to be where my spirit can run free. Gotta find my corner of the sky. Every man has his daydreams. Every man has his goals. People like the way dreams have of sticking to the soul. Thunderclouds have their lightning, nightingales have their song. And don't you see I want my life to be something more than long. Rivers belong where they can ramble. Eagles belong where they can fly. I've got to be where my spirit can run free. Gotta find my corner of the sky so many men seem destined to settle for something small but i won't rest until i know i've got it all so don't ask where i'm going just listen when i'm gone and far away you'll hear me sing softly through the dawn Rivers belong where they can ramble. Eagles belong where they can fly. I've got to be where my spirit can run free. Gotta find my corner. Now, uh, my fabulous accompanist, Katie Vesley, will be performing Rondo Capriccio.
superlatives. Superlatives. Loudest. Shane Nyan. And Jay Peabody. Class mom and dad. Kaylee Ireland. And Chris Choppy. Best dancers. Ray Mellis. And Jillian Richard. Most likely to pay for Wi-Fi on a plane. Kristen Provost. And Brian Polera. <laughs> Most artistic. Lauren Gonthier. And Sule Gilbo. Yeah! Most spirited. Lauren Fedorchek. And Riley O'Connor. Most changed since eighth grade. Dylan DeGrazia. And Logan Flanagan. Most likely to be successful. Amy Schneider. Haley Gendel. Eli Ratner. Lacey Raymond. And Genevieve DeShanes. <laughs> Class couple. Colleen Noonan and Gaten Deshane. <laughs> Workaholic. Dominic Tomkowitz. And Alex LeBerry. Globetrotter. Joshua Movenzada. And Jane Grogan. Belongs in a different generation. Jillian Fournier. And Jimmy Fires. Done most for AHS. Matt Lavoie. And Sarah Pelletier. Most down to earth. Phoebe Winders. And Kyle Murley. Class Optimus. Lydia Gottwald. And Cooper Wigglesworth. Most unique. Alex Lamoth. And Bethany Bailey. Most likely to be upset if he or she doesn't get a superlative. Mara Einson. And Heath King. <laughs> Biggest ego. Chloe Kramer. And Chris Choppy. <laughs> Bookworm. Keith Merchant. And Courtney Snead. Best to bring home to mom and dad. Freddie Halloran. Yeah. And Adrian Harris. Yeah. And of course, your best match. Matthew Lavoie. And Sarah Whittier. <laughs> Cooper Wigglesworth and Jane Grogan will now read Remember When. Yeah. Remember when? We beat the seniors at a rally junior year. <laughs> Dylan Turcott thought Iman was a girl? David Sullivan wore an eagle costume to school. Gayton DeShanes broke his collarbone at the eighth grade field day. 162 students were marked late at a two hour delay. Mr. Guerin told us not to take the ACTs because there was a football game that night. Brian Polera thought that his engine sounded really good but it was actually just his transmission blowing. We went on the Amstuds field trip and there were people outside of the state house protesting circumcision. <laughs> Caitlin McGowan asked John Sadlowski to prom with a pizza that said, Tom. <laughs> Mr. Hammond caught the four square ball at senior celebration and everyone went nuts. <laughs> Trevor Eaton built his own truck. <laughs> Mrs. Pankos threw Mara Einstein's calculator in the sink. Remember when the cheerleaders decorated Jillian Fournier's locker instead of a football player's. Every single girl wore bottom eyeliner. <laughs> Newspaper came to, uh, to school on a snow day just to get the paper out on time. Sophia Ulrich thought 11 times 11 was 44. <laughs> the one we definitely all remember, Jaya Peabody yelled, it's DeRocher. At eighth grade graduation, Mrs. Swart pronounced Emily's name wrong. <laughs> Mrs. Ahola yelled at Jay Carlo for censoring a breast in the freshman history project. <laughs> and now Chris Chaffee and Phoebe Winders will now read What Would It Be Like If? What would it be like if? No one worked at Market Basket or Stop and Shop. Crocs didn't come back in style. Cam Murray didn't drag race. <laughs> Max Cullen had paid $2 for a bracelet. <laughs> Brandon Catanzariti couldn't do magic tricks. Oh. Cole Legg was a feminist. <laughs> Leary retired. 
Jay of Peabody was quiet. <laughs> Matt Lavoy, Jane Grogan, Kaylee Hudson, and Jay of Peabody never took photos. Our color day wall didn't transform sophomore year. Genevieve DeShane stopped talking for one minute. <laughs> what would it be like if Matt Bellino never came back to AHS? <laughs> Gayton DeShane's cut his hair. Our class didn't have a ridiculous amount of smart people and overachievers. Danny Welch was five feet tall. <laughs> Dylan DeGrazia didn't communicate through screeches. Mr. Moore was still one of our advisors. No one took laps during class. People actually stopped at the stop signs in the parking lot. Doc Walsh didn't make fun of Southampton kids. Cooper Wigglesworth didn't leave a trail of crumbs everywhere he went. <laughs> Eli Ratner and Jill Fournier will now read the class prophecy. In 16 years, Chloe Kramer sees herself as a real housewife of Amesbury. <laughs> Ray Mellis sees himself riding a dolphin into the horizon. Adam in Contrary sees himself wrestling lions and helping wildlife. Kaylee Ireland sees herself knitting and writing famous poetry in her Irish cottage with her goats. Alex Laverity sees herself running a restaurant in the heart of Amesbury. Lizzie Forney sees herself owning a pug farm. Tom Fink sees himself training the next Pokemon master. Brandon Doucette sees himself exploring the world with his main girl, Dora. Kyle Murley sees himself working for NASA and discovering the key to interstellar space travel. Angeline Ravello sees herself being a pediatric nurse with 100 dogs. In 16 years, Nick Coleman sees himself fending for his life against an army of evil androids who are taking over the world. Megan Reed sees herself rolling in the dough. Emily Robinson sees herself most likely sitting on the couch eating great snacks and watching a funny movie. Antonio Gonzalez sees himself starving and or performing music. Matt Apicella sees himself not being here. Alan Jackson sees himself working a well-paying job, living on his own, and being happy. Tia, Tia Garrett sees herself as a law enforcement officer in a major city. Jimmy Fierce sees himself in the military. Abby Connolly sees herself being a housewife with Sophia Ulrich and Abby Bennett in matching pink Victoria's Secret tracksuits. Now Amy Sider will perform A Dream is a Wish the Heart Makes.
performing Rainbow Connection. This song goes out to my graduating class and my main man, Kermit the Frog.
Our time at Amesbury High School has finished, but this is only the beginning of our journeys through life. We may end up thousands of miles away or just down the street, but we should always remember that Amesbury was our foundation, the place from which we began. We can only go forward and upward from here. We're at the airport terminal, the train station, the bus stop. Where we go now is up to us. We, the class of 2016, are leaders, not followers. We will make our own paths in this world and we will end up on top. Let's begin. All right, just before, the, before we begin the slideshow, I'd just like to say a quick couple of words. Um, I'm gonna keep it real brief because I know you all wanna see the slideshow real quick. But I'd just like to thank everyone, um, especially Jane Grogan, Kaylee Hudson, and Jay Peabody. Without you guys, this slideshow would never exist. Um, and I just wanna say thank, I, on behalf of all of us in the AHS photo department, thank you for letting us take pictures of you guys for the last four years.
the road look rough ahead in your miles and miles from your nice warm bed. You just remember what your old past said, boy, you got a friend in me. Yeah, you got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. You got the trouble, and I got them too. There isn't anything we wouldn't do for you. We stick together, see it through, cause you got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. Some other folks might be a little bit smarter than I am. Making stronger too, maybe, but none of them will ever love you the way I do. It's me and you, boy, and as the years go by, a friendship will never die. You're gonna see it's our destiny. You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. What would you think if I sang out a tune? Would you stand up and walk out on me? Lend me your ears and I'll sing you a song and I'll try not to sing out of key. Oh, I get by with a little help from my friends Mmm, I get high with a little help from my friends Mmm, I'm gonna try with a little help from my friends What do I do when my love is away?
she thinks that I sound funny But she likes the way you sing Tonight I'll dream while I'm in bed When silly thoughts go through my head About the bugs and alphabet When I wake tomorrow I'll bet That you and I will walk together again I can tell that we are gonna be friends Yes, I can tell that we are gonna be friends I see trees of green, red roses too. I see them blue for me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. I see skies of blue. Clouds of white, the bright blessed day, the dark sacred night, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. The colors of the rainbow, so pretty in the sky. Also on the faces of people going by, I see friends shaking hands, saying, how do you do? They're really saying, I love you. I hear babies cry. I watch them grow. They're like much more. I'll never know And I think to myself What a wonderful world Yes, I think to myself What a wonderful world
up that's where you find me oh somewhere over the rainbow bluebirds fly and the dream that you did to oh why oh why can't I Clouds of white and the brightness of day. 